You're my brother. You owe me the truth. And if you won't give me that, I'm going to have to ask you to pack your bags and leave my home. I welcomed you and your son into my house. I defended you to my husband, to my nephew, to the police, Tomas. And you won't talk to me. You don't trust me. You've lied to me. Dad, I'm just trying to protect you. Well, don't! I don't need your protection. I'm not some sort of porcelain doll. I'm an attorney, for God's sake. And I am your sister. And what I need from you right now is for you to tell me the truth. So what do you think he's afraid of? It seems like he's afraid of losing us. It's so weird. I've never seen him act like that before. Yeah. My dad's been weird, too. I mean, not that I have anything to compare it to. I barely know the guy, but still, he's wired. Same with my dad. Like, he's always looking over his shoulder. So if they're both climbing the walls, whatever's going on between them must be coming to a head. Baz, I'm scared, and I don't even know what of. Fine. Ask me, I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Okay. Why does the CIA have an encrypted file on you? I'm not a criminal, Taya. Far from it. The agency has a file on me because I used to work for them. What? I work for the CIA. They recruited me out of Juilliard. It was the perfect cover. I was traveling around the world, supposedly doing concerts. I spoke several languages. That's why you disappeared all that time. I was so naive. I didn't know what I was getting into. I thought, I thought it was going to be James Bond, you know, me in a tux, some concert hall, whisking away in an Aston Martin, chasing after some nefarious chic or a mobile on a yacht. It's really a lot more pedestrian than that. And then they upped the ante. And in order to protect the family and you, I had to stay away. So, huh, all that time we thought that you didn't care. I was serving my country. Or so I thought. What does that mean? Who's there? Before, back at the house, I heard my father threatening this guy. On the phone? No. He was on the front step. And I heard my father tell him that if he ever came near the house again, he wouldn't live long enough to regret it. What? That doesn't even sound like Tomas. I know. And I called him on it when the guy left. He, he made up this lame excuse that the guy was some kind of salesman. What? I know. I didn't buy it either. I mean, who would threaten to kill a salesman? <laughs> my dad, maybe, but he wouldn't mean it. I think my dad knew the guy and hated him. This is all getting so weird. I know. Are you thinking that this is all somehow connected to my brother's kidnapping? Maybe. I mean, yeah, it's connected. I just think something a lot bigger is going on. The agency is complicated. There are many factions and it's very political. And people aren't always what they seem. Which is why sometimes I didn't trust the right people. Which is why I finally had to get out. So... You're out. You're, you're, you're done with that. Yeah, there's, there's no going back. So what is this? What does all this have to do with my husband? Tell. Are you sure you want to go down that road? is a part of the bigger picture. Otherwise, why wouldn't my dad have settled down by now? Sam's home, he should be happy. Instead, he's totally stressed out. I mean, the, the kidnapper's still out there. They hadn't found the guy. Maybe that's why your dad's stressed. He's afraid he's gonna try again. And what about all those encrypted files? I don't, your dad's been in prison, right? Maybe that's why they had a file on him. They have one on your dad, and he's not even a criminal. Look, I don't know. I don't know anything about him except for that he has horrible taste in music. 
What about that guy on the set that your dad was talking to? Could he have been the kidnapper? Doubtful. He didn't look anything like that photo you had of your dad from way back when. I mean, that's what Sam said, right? That the guy had your dad's old face? Well, then who is that guy? I don't know. But he's no cable salesman. This guy Baker, he's trying... Of course I want to know how my husband's involved. Especially if it's something I'm not going to like. I have to know. We, we have a child. We, we, we have a life together. I can't just blindly go forward knowing there's something out there, something he's done. I mean, obviously you two have a history together. Todd accused you of having shot him, then he withdrew that accusation. Why would he do that? Huh? Why? That doesn't make sense. Unless you have something over him. You threatened him somehow. Did you shoot my husband? The more we find out about our dads, the scarier this gets. He's weirder. How's Sam doing with all this? Oh, Sam? Please, he's milking it for all it's worth. He loved his kidnapper. He would invite him over if he knew how to get in touch with him. To him, it was one big adventure. He got to save Aunt Dorian and be the hero. Oh, that's my mom. There's no point in me going to Buenos Dias. They already left. Sam wanted to go to the zoo. And since it's Sam's day, he gets to do whatever he wants. So if you're not going to the Buenos Dias, does that mean you're free? I didn't shoot your husband. But I was there. Where? In, in the building? How? Why? I tried to stop the shooter. Look, I don't think you understand who we're... You were there when they shot Todd? Did yeah. You... Did you see who shot him? No, I didn't recognize him. I just heard Todd was a target, so I went to the location. Just as the shooter was about to drop your husband. Oh, my God. So I fought him. That's when Todd saw me in the window. And then I took a bullet from McBain. You were shot? No, it's just a flesh wound that's healed. But it gave the shooter an advantage. He got away. I just want you to know, I didn't try to kill your husband. I tried to save his life. You're... Oh, good. My mom's going to take Hope to the zoo. I love the zoo. I haven't been to the reptile house in forever. The reptile house? Yeah, I told you. You like snakes. Yeah, I remember. And spiders. And reptiles and anything else that usually makes little girls scream. Noted. What? Nothing. I just figured you were more of a girly girl. Girly girls can like snakes. Well, that's two. Two what? It's two times you've surprised me so far. And what was the first? That you are a mother. No. It's that I'm a mother at my age. Ah, right. I stand corrected. Right. So really, I'm just an overachiever. Now that I believe. And that is two times I've surprised you. And counting. And counting. You know, we have a lot in common. We're dads. Yeah, and that we're both snake lovers. What? Yeah. I used to have this pet snake, uh, Boa. He's named Aziz. Well, at least I did until my mom found him and was going to make him into a pair of shoes. What happened to him? Gave him to the children's zoo. They let me visit him, you know, bring him mice. Was he a red tail, Madagascan, or a Colombian? You know your snakes. He was a red tail. Gorgeous. Yeah? Yeah. My dad would always take me to the reptile roundup. He would buy me books and stuff. And there was this fun house. They sometimes had insects and snakes and spiders. Actually... What? What? There was this one time where I, I couldn't get anyone to take me. So I took a cab. How old were you? Not much older than Sam. Anyway, um, I gave the cab driver directions. When we got there, it had been out of business and abandoned. But by then, the cab driver had already gone home. So I just went inside. I'm going to find this man who was tied up to a huge wheel. What do you mean tied to a wheel? 
He was stuck there. It was larger than him. He was chained to it. Anyway, I tried to help him. I told everyone about it, but no one believed me because I told a lot of lies when I was that age. They all thought I was making it up. Like Sam and his imaginary friend with the line on his face. And guess what? He was real, too. And I realized that they were... I know Todd has a lot of enemies, but to try to kill him, who, who would want him dead? Tomas. I can't tell you anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't tell me that my husband is a marked man and then not tell me who wants Sam, him dead. All you need why. to know is that Todd is mixed up in something very dangerous. You don't need to know anymore. Just need to figure out that that's why I was trying to get you to leave him. Now, all you need to know is that you need to come with me, and I will take you and Daniela and put you somewhere secure. And leave my husband in danger? No. You tell me what you know right now. I cannot do that. The only reason I've told you this much is because I'm afraid for your life. If I tell you any more, we're going to both regret it. Ted! Ted, where are you going? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't tell you. Ted, you don't understand how dangerous this is. Ted, you cannot tell this to anybody else. What have you told me? Nothing! Ted! Ted. Look. Praying mantis. I haven't seen one of these in years. I love them. Look at how graceful she is. Isn't she beautiful?